Greetings, Fortniteers. This is Jiki Seth. We're going to play this match with Deathstroke again. In the last match, we learned all about Deathstroke, aka Slade Wilson. So in this match, we're going to talk about Season 7. But first, let's determine which quest we're going to do in this match. Let's go all the way down to the dailies here. Destroy Sticks Restaurant Decorations. Sounds like a good one. We are on realsport101.com right now. Fortnite Season Live Event Countdown. Get ready for an alien themed live event for the new season. And this news update is only a couple hours old, so it's still fresh. I like it fresh. Season 7 of Fortnite is just hours away from starting, with aliens getting ever closer to taking over the map. In the run-up to the new season starting, we'll have the new live event to play through, which will confirm the new theme and introduce the new map. Here, we've got all the details you need on the Season 7 event and what it will mean in terms of new content for Fortnite. Latest Puzzle Teasers With there now being just 24 hours until the Season 7 event, starts in Fortnite, the teases are really ramping up. Just yesterday, various puzzles were released by Epic Games, full of strange symbols and other things to work out. You can see just one of them below. I'm looking at their website right now. Boy, that is a strange symbol. Most of them were deciphered to just represent words that had some link to the extraterrestrial or aliens going further to confirm the theme of the upcoming season. How excited are you guys? We're sure more will come over the following hours before the event begins. So they're talking like the event's going down tomorrow. I thought the battle pass ran through tomorrow. We'll find out soon, shall we? Event theme, aliens and UFOs. You'll probably already know it, but aliens and UFOs should play a big part in the Season 7 event. They've really told us nothing yet. They've been buzzing around the map already, with players being abducted and taken to the other places of the map without asking. Teases have said they're coming, so it's inevitable that they'll be central to Fortnite's next event. How exactly they'll be involved? We're not sure how to play. If you're wanting to jump into the event once it is alive, it should be nice and easy. And we've almost destroyed the decorations. There we go. 22,000 XP. Not bad. If you load up Fortnite once the Season 7 update file has been downloaded, load up a game of Battle Royale and you should be thrown right into the event, right from the start. Just like on the first day of this season. You'll then be able to play through it while the Season 7 new content is activated. How long will downtime be? This is interesting to know. And look at that, we just took out the Predator. So now we know the answer. Deathstroke versus Predator. Deathstroke wins. Amongst the downloading of the Fortnite Season 7 update, and the release of the new content, there will be some downtime to wait for. Usually, that downtime lasts only for a couple of hours. Alright, we're going over here real quick. I'm going to throw a couple grenades. See if we get a lucky hit. Two. Three. Nope, we had to take him out with a gun. And there's someone else creeping around here. Let's watch out for them. They're coming down through the ceiling. And you're out, skis. I woke up extra early this morning to narrate this video for you guys. Good game, by the way. Usually, the downtime lasts only for a couple of hours. If the update goes live at about 4 a.m. Eastern Time, 9 a.m. British Standard Time, we wouldn't expect the downtime to run until much later than 90 minutes after that. So they're predicting the downtime will be about one and a half hours. If the Season 7 event turns out to be a pretty important one in the history of Fortnite, that could be longer, however. So they're admitting they don't know. 
17.00 patch notes. Now patch notes a tricky subject when it comes to Fortnite because Epic Games doesn't exactly release them in full. They mention a few changes, explain the new features, and players have to work out some other things. That's where data miners come in. We will include everything here once it's all revealed. But we do know one change that's coming with Season 7, which you can see below. It's a tweet from iFireMonkey, and here's what it says. The following issue will be fixed in version 17.00. The Shanti for a Squad emote may sound out of sync when players join in on the emote with already singing players. That's very unimportant, I might add. Unless if you have that emote, then it's a pretty high priority, I'd say. And that's all they have on realsport101.com in regards to the Season 7 event. So let's get our head back in this game. There's going to be a sweaty sweat coming up soon. There he is right now, building up to me. And they took out most of my health. No worries, we got a shotgun. Got a nice hit there on the drop. And let's set a trap from behind this door. I'm the trap. Got him! Oh, look at that. They dropped two legendary infantry rifles. I'll take one. No need for two. Although you guys have seen me pick up multiple assault rifles in the past. In one video, someone gets upset about it. I think it takes place at the grotto. And I definitely want that primal bow. I'm going to hold on to this pistol, though. One of my quests in the epic flavor is to upgrade it. I believe the correct term is craft. And don't forget to check out this hidden room here at Craggy Cliffs. I sometimes forget it's here. They usually have a really nice chest in there. I see someone's already been in it. It was one of the special chests. So back to Season 7 speculation. I'd like to point out I have my own theories. The Batman Fortnite Zero Point comic books are only on issue 4. Issue 5 comes out next Tuesday. That's about one week into Season 7. So there's two issues left, issue 5 and 6. And they still got a little bit of story to teach us about the crossover with DC Comics. And I think that's going to play into Season 7. So I'm going to shoot over to DC Comics' website and see if they have any information on issue number 5. That might tell us a little bit about the next season. Before we do that, we're going to visit Remedy over here. She's one of the few NPCs that carried over from last season. Last season you could hire her, but this season you cannot. It looks like someone's already been through here and taken all the slurp barrels. Too bad I wanted to use those. Alright, I need a few more bones to craft this pistol. Let's see what Remedy has to say. What can I say? I love a lost cause. Don't mind the duct tape. They're still talking about duct tape. Is that ever going to come into play? Maybe that's how they seal up the zero point next season, with duct tape. I'm just kidding. Alright, there's only 25 players remaining. And we're going to rummage through this house, and we're on DCComics.com. We're going to learn about Batman Fortnite Zero Point issue number 5. Batwoman, Catwoman, and the unlikely band of renegade Fortnite fighters which includes Deathstroke, make their way deep into the underground complex of the island. In a desperate hunt to escape the loop areas, never before seen in the game, with secrets discovered only by the world's greatest detective. And if you guys read the last issue, issue number four, then you'll know that Fish Deck gets messed up. Along the way, they'll fight for their lives, uncover revelations about the history and inner workings of the world of Fortnite, and face a betrayal from one of their own as our story hurdles towards its explosive conclusion. And that's all they're giving us about this. However, I want to point out 
that in issue number four of Batman Fortnite Zero Point, they actually crack open one of the three hatches on the map. You know the hatches that you can't open and they've been around forever? In the comic book, they actually open one and they go underground. What do you guys think? Is it gonna be the grotto? Are they gonna revamp that? That is left to be seen. They probably still have that in the map from season two. Maybe they reintroduced the grotto. Maybe that's the new Batcave. All we can do is speculate at this point. All right, we are gonna hire Stage Slayer. He's a cross between Kid Rock and Slash. And we're gonna purchase some animal bones off him too. Look at that. I leveled up my son's account to 152. And I got 35,000 XP. We are adventure buddies. I like that, it's pretty funny. All right, let's craft this pistol right now. 24,000 XP. Boy, we racked up a whole bunch of XP in Stage Slayer Studio. I like FN Radio. It's one of my favorite radio stations. I had a band called AM Radio. That's a tale for another day. And it looks like my bounty is here somewhere. And there's someone upstairs. Stage Slayer is engaging them. Let's see if we can help them out. There's Crustina. Let's see if we can help Stage Slayer out. Got her. Alright, and there's still a player here somewhere. We're back in the recording studio. Maybe I should cut a couple vocal tracks. I'm just kidding, there's no time for that. Let's see where that player is at. Stage Slayer will keep him busy while I'm looking around the house. There's somewhere around here. I hear him creeping around. Let's go in the bathroom and make a trap. Alright, it's about to get really boring here. We are officially on a stakeout now. I'm hoping my opponent comes through the door and then I cap him. So we're on Epic Games' website right now, and this is the latest news that they have to offer. This is from June 3rd, which is last Thursday. More bang for your bars. Fortnite's Bargain Bin Wild Week. It's time for the Bargain Bin Clearance event. In this final wild week of Chapter 2 Season 6, island vendors are offering big, big savings. All bar balances will be reset at the start of next season. Make sure to spend your gold bars, my friends. So take advantage of these huge deals to deplete your bar balance to zero. What deals can you look forward to? Through the end of the season, all exotics and many services are 50% off. The Exotic Marksman 6 Shooter, 50% off. The Exotic Grappler Bow, 50% off. Bush Rangers Prop Disguise Service, that's right, you guessed it, 50% off. Don't undervalue this increase in purchasing power. Bargain Bin will keep clearing stock until downtime begins for Chapter 2 Season 7, happening June 8, 2021. The Islands Vendors, thank you for your business. And as you can see, I got bored with my stakeout. You gotta get some donuts and a coffee for that. I'm drinking coffee right now, I'm on my first cup. Alright, let's see where this other player's at. Looks like I'm being targeted too. I wonder if my bounty is the bounty hunter that's bounty hunting me. Let's get up on the roof here. Alright, you go see where he is, Stage Slayer. And I will lay in wait. There they are. It's Griff Master Raz. Got a nice hit there. Got another hit. You got a nice hit on me. Around this way and get the jump on him. Got him. Oh, and his grenade took me out. I wonder how far I would have gotten this game otherwise. Oh well. I have a special treat for you guys right now. Two alien abductions. The first one is at the weather station. I was kind of surprised by this one. I'm just rummaging through the building and there's the flash of light. 
time to go for a ride. Let's emote through this. Look at that. Right through the building. Looks like they were having a hard time abducting me through the building, though. And they dumped me by Caddy Corner. And the second abduction was by this tower here, right next to Sweaty Sands. I was right in the middle of fighting the Tower Guardian when it happened. Here it comes. I'm guessing there's going to be more alien abductions as the season winds down. Now let's see where it dumps me. Pretty close. There's the tower right there. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Don't forget to support a creator. J-I-K-K-Y-S-E-F. That spells... Jiggy Seth. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and have a great fortnight.